Hi, uh, welcome to my channel Galactic Bacon and my video today is going to be an Elite Dangerous mission guide for new players and beginners. Um, I originally started this video series with a fresh account so I'm starting out with the same amount of money as you guys and the same ship as well so I have no advantage uh, at all in this uh, tutorial series. And each week over the next few weeks I'm hoping to take you through different aspects of the game on this new account and in this new video series for beginners. Uh, you might want to check out some other relevant videos in the series, you'll find them in the description uh, below. Don't forget to subscribe uh, and like this video if you find it helpful. Remember to click the bell icon if you want to be notified of new videos. Okay, so let's dive in. Uh, now I'm logging in uh, just now and I'm going to be using Open Play. Uh, so there's a potential to meet other players in the game. Okay, now I'm assuming at this point that you have completed the game tutorial and you've also completed your first uh, tutorial mission. So you'll have to do all of that. Uh, first, um, before this video may be relevant to you. Um, if you are struggling with that, uh, I do have a video that takes you through the first game tutorial step by step. If you check out the card above, uh, you'll be able to find it there and in the description below. So, um, what I hope to cover today is taking you through step by step how to choose a mission from the mission board, which missions to choose as a beginner, and then I will complete the mission and you'll be able to, to watch me doing that. Um, other things I'll mention today briefly is how missions can affect your reputation in the Elite Galaxy. Um, so what you have to do first is, uh, if you have completed the tutorial missions, you should now be, you, you will always spawn in a space station whenever you log back into the game. So I happen to be at Mawson Dock in the Dromi system. And to find your missions, you need to enter Startport Services. So I'm going to do that. And if you select Mission Board, I'll click on that, uh, you will see I have a list of missions down below. Um, now if you see the column to the left there is only one character offering missions I think because this is a starter system usually you will see multiple uh, characters within the game offering uh, missions to you but there is only one from this uh, station Okay, so the first mission here is called a Source and Return mission. It involves buying four units of conductive fabrics. And one thing it warns us here is make sure that you have enough credits to purchase the required items. Uh, so that's always something worth checking if you're going to do one of these missions. Um, at that cost, and with the amount of money we have, that's going to leave us kind of tight so I probably wouldn't suggest doing one of these missions um, from the word go. Uh, certainly once you've got a little bit of cash uh, you, you can do these trading missions um, and also check the reward as well. Uh, so the reward for this is 18,000 credits and um, missions will always usually tell you how the mission will affect your reputation. Um, now your reputation is with the various factions in Elite and uh, this will help your reputation with the controlling faction uh, within the system. Okay, but let's go back and have a look at other missions. So we have mining mission. Um, Obviously, to complete this mission, you will have to equip your ship for mining. Uh, I will deal with that in another tutorial. I don't recommend doing this uh, as a complete beginner as your second mission, uh, which is what we're doing today. 
Uh, so we'll leave that one. What else do we have? We have uh, encrypted data storage salvage. Uh, so this is a salvage mission. Uh, now, now these are quite good for beginners to do. Uh, the only thing I would encourage you to check is whether you have enough cargo space. Uh, the mission actually tells us to check that. Um, you do need a, to be able to an ability to scan. Uh, so you need a data scanner in order to do this. But it's quite a good mission to do as a beginner. And we have another one like that. Uh, delivery missions um, are a bit like trade missions. The only difference is that you are just making a single journey. Uh, with other um, source and return missions, you have to go and source the goods and then bring them back to a certain system, hand them in, and then you get paid. With delivery missions... Uh, when you're given the mission, you will be given certain materials and all you have to do is deliver them to a certain destination. And we see here you can be rewarded to 39,000 credits to do this one. Just make sure that you have enough cargo space uh, to do it. Uh, usually, if, if there is some reason you can't do a mission... Uh, either you don't have the right reputation um, or your your ship isn't equipped it, this uh, this will be in red text and you, you won't be able to select it so yeah, delivery missions are good uh, courier missions are excellent for beginners because it just involves delivering data so especially with a small ship you don't need a big cargo bay uh, in order to, to do this. So it says the data will be stored in your computer, will not require any cargo space. You receive your reward upon delivery. Again, this is a, a one journey uh, mission usually to, to do this. So certainly a good type of mission for beginners. Uh, let's see. Conflict training area. Uh, yeah, if you want to get involved in some combat, uh, that could be a good mission to do. Um, it doesn't mention anything about rewards, so that may be dependent on what you actually do there. Uh, we have encrypted data storage salvage missions. Again, you need a scanner and make sure you have enough cargo space in order to do that one. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, liberation, uh, liberate to encrypted correspondence. Um, so this one is a bit more involved, uh, which we're not going to do today. That's for another tutorial. I don't recommend doing that one. Um, this is more a sort of bounty hunting uh, mission, which I think again is for another day. I wouldn't recommend that as your second mission. A lot of these other missions are a bit more advanced. You'll see at the bottom it says here requirements not met, so there you maybe have to click on it to see the reason why. Usually it's because you need a certain minimum reputation with the faction in order to do these missions, you will notice that they do have higher rewards. So as you do missions for local factions, uh, this is something really important to remember when doing missions in Elite, uh, that when doing missions for local factions and you increase your reputation, you will be offered uh, better and better missions uh, that will pay more and more money. And uh, so that is a great way of getting some income in Elite, which is what you want to do if you want to progress in the game and buy better and bigger ships, uh, etc. What we are going to choose today is a fairly simple mission. We are going to choose a courier job, which is just delivering data. Okay, and I'm going to click on Accept.
Okay, it says mission list has expired probably because I've been talking too long. Uh, so I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back into the mission board. Just something to be aware of. Missions can expire after a certain amount of time. Let's see what else we have here. Okay, we have a courier job here that pays quite well. 33,000 credits. I'm going to accept that one. I'm going to go back. Um, now, you can accept more than one mission at a time if you have the time to do them. Just be aware that there is a, a deadline for handing in missions. Um, if you know that you're not going to have the time to complete them all, perhaps not a good idea to take on too many. So I'm going to exit that. Uh, so we're going to bring up our nav panel. And I'm going along to transactions where I will find our mission. Uh, so there is my courier job mission. I'm going to click on that, select it. And if we scroll down, it tells us that we have six days, 23 hours, 53 minutes left to complete this uh, mission. Right, uh, now what we will need to do to complete the mission is find out where we're supposed to be going. So uh, select the galaxy map. We're going to open that just now. And it should be focused on our target system. Uh, now if you zoom in and out, you will see it's actually only one jump away, which is good for us because we have a small ship. And the little planet icon there tells you that this is the destination of your mission. So we are going to select this system. And I'm going to select the system map just so we can find out which station we're going to. And there is a station with the little mission marker upon it. We're going to select that and plot our route here. Okay, so our navigation computer is now set and that will enable us to travel to this system first and then once we arrive in the system, the navigation will update and direct us towards this uh, station, uh, Mukherjee Orbital, I think it's called. Okay. Okay, we're ready to go. Uh, so I'm going to auto-launch. Just checking if we've got enough fuel to get there. Uh, if you have a look at the fuel indicator to your right, if you you will see the fuel uh, is has a sort of graphic representation in these sort of blocks. Um, the little blue bit tells you how much fuel you're going to use in travelling to your destination. So as long as you have some orange in there, uh, that the orange is greater than the blue bit, then you should be okay for travelling to your system. Remember, don't travel to any system without making sure that you have enough fuel for the journey. Okay, we're just waiting in a queue to leave the, the station. Now we're travelling away from the station until our mass locked indicator goes off and then we're free to go where we like. I'm just going to boost for a second and take control of the ship. So increase your throttle and boost away. This will just take you the required distance away from the station quicker uh, so that you can start your journey and you will see a target system right in front of us so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to engage the frameshift drive uh, by clicking on J obviously if you're playing on PlayStation 4 or Xbox 
Uh, you'll have to work out your own controls for that. I'm playing on PC at the moment, but the game is pretty much the same on different platforms. Okay, when you arrive at the star system, be ready to pull up on the joystick or controller to make sure you don't fly into the star. So I pull up now. Doesn't matter what direction you pull up into. Um, and then you want to fly away from the star. Uh, maybe give it 10 seconds or so, just so that you're in a safe place to then um, reorientate your ship towards the the, the um, planet that you're heading towards. Okay, I'm going to increase the throttle. Um, you'll see the speed indicator. I have left it in the blue area, which will adjust my speed automatically. Okay. So we're moving away from the star. I'm now going to move my ship so that the ship is pointing towards our target. You'll see just to the left of the radar there's a little planetary indicator and there's a little white dot and I've just centered on that dot. That tells me where my target is. So I'm heading towards the station, my target station and my speed has been automatically controlled. Don't worry too much if you are aware that you're getting closer and closer um, and worried about your speed, it will begin to decelerate automatically. You may need to make small adjustments to keep the target in the centre of your screen. If you don't, you'll end up going off course. Okay. Okay, once we get to within one million miles, we then disengage our FSD, frameshift drive, and the game will actually tell you when to do that. And don't worry about that message. And now I can disengage. And we are now at our space station. So I need to fly within seven and a half kilometers in order to um, initiate contact with the station. So we're now within that distance. I'm now going to set my throttle to zero. I'm going to bring up my navigation panel and I'm going over to contacts because we have to contact the station first and then request docking. So contact the station then select request docking. So we've been requested docking. Sometimes you might have to wait in a queue uh, if it's a particularly busy system. That can be a bit frustrating at times but you will just have to keep trying if the station is too busy. So in this shot, on this ship we have automatic docking, so we don't have to do anything.
Okay, we've now landed. I'm going to enter the hangar. Okay, we're going to enter Starport Services now that we are within the station. And we're going to hand in our mission. So, you will see there's a little exclamation mark on the mission board that's telling us that we have a mission to hand in. So, we're going to go over there, hand in our mission, and you will see... Under the list of missions, there is one mission to hand in. That's the one we've just completed. And it should indicate that you have completed the mission, if you've done it correctly. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to choose my reward. Okay. Um, so... We've received our reward and what I want you to take note of here is how it has changed our faction reputation. The top one is the reputation with the local faction, the Pilots Federation Administration, which has gone from neutral to cordial. Um, the bottom one is the superpower reputation. Uh, I'll talk about that in another video. It's not important just now, but you will notice that the little blue indicator shows that your reputation has improved with them also. Uh, so we're going to go back and I'm going to go back again. Now, another way to check your uh, reputation, I'm going to go back again. Uh, before we could do that, I'm going to refuel just in case I forget later on. Uh, under quick maintenance, refuel your ship. I'm going to exit again. Um, if you go to your right hand panel on PC, it's number four on the keyboard. And you will see that my balance has improved. Uh, I now have 43,988 credits uh, as a result of completing that mission. Okay, if you want to check your status with factions, another way of doing that is to work your way along the panels. And we are going to status. And there it tells us that our Pilots Federation Administration, which is the local faction in this system, is at Cordial. There are other factions within this system. You may have to travel to other stations, or there may be probably missions available from this station uh, involving these other factions if you wanted to do those. And you will see below um, there are three superpower factions the Federation, the Empire, and the Alliance, and if you remember before, um, our reputation had improved slightly with one of these. I can't remember which one it was. It's not <laughs> indicating anything at the moment, but if that had improved a great deal, you would see that here on the Superpower Reputation panel as well. There's also a Finance panel. That shows you uh, your balance. Okay, and the bottom uh, screen shows you permits for different things. So we have a Pilots Federation District permit. I think that just enables us to do missions within these starter uh, systems. And you get that when you start the game. Uh, there are various other permits for visiting other systems to visit... Uh, our own solar system which is called Sol in Elite Dangerous if you want to visit Earth you need a special permit 
in order to do that and there are various other permits for visiting other locations uh, within the game. Okay, I'm going to go back to the main screen. If you want to explore a bit and do some other missions on your own, uh, what you can do if you go back into Starport Services and back to the mission board, you will see on the left hand side that there are now other factions represented here offering missions at this station. Uh, what I would recommend you do is perhaps try another courier mission on your own. There's one there. Uh, or try, let's see, if there are any delivery missions. Yeah. Um, you will have different missions at your starter system. Um, if you want to go back to some of the easier missions, just journey back to the place that you started from uh, before doing this mission and you will find some of those starter missions. For me it was Dromi system. And uh, so when I come to do the next video, I'll go back there and we'll do one of those uh, other uh, mission types as well. So I hope this video has been helpful. Um, if you have found it helpful, please uh, like, uh, comment in the video. Remember to subscribe and hit the bell icon if you want to be notified of future videos. Uh, check out some of my other videos on Elite Dangerous if you're looking for tutorials and beginner's guides. And uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.